In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the rear wheel speed sensor on this Cadillac SRX. Let's get into it. I'm gonna remove the driver's side rear wheel. I'm gonna use a 22 millimeter socket. Take the lug nuts off. and remove the wheel. We're gonna have to take these two bolts off because this bracket is in the way. When doing this job, you are gonna need to replace these bolts. Using a 24 millimeter socket and a 24 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna put a socket on the bolt, wrench on the nut, and take it out. Take the bolt out. You might have to push on the hub assembly or on the rotor. That's okay, that's gonna be loose right there. On the bottom bolt and nut, I'm gonna use a 21 millimeter wrench on the nut and 21 millimeter socket on the bolt. that off, take the bolt out, and slide this bar. There's a little retainer here holding the wire for the, for the wheel speed sensor. Just pop that off with a straight blade screwdriver and slide that arm out of the way. I'm gonna follow back the wiring harness and we're gonna pop it out of these retainers right here. I'm just gonna use a trim tool. Just spread this, just pop these out you need to use the trim tool just so there's some slack. Right. So that's loose right there. And the connector is above the rear frame right here. You can grab the connector and it's on a bracket so try to use a trim tool and just slide it off the bracket. Try to pull it out. Once you pop it out of the retainer, you can push the connector all the way towards the outside of the vehicle and then try to slide it this way. Then you can actually disconnect it. It's a little bit tricky to get it to this point. Just take a pocket screwdriver or a pick, slide this lock back. You can push down on the connector and slide it off. See, that's what the retainer was that you were trying to pop up. If you push it towards the back of the vehicle, you can get it on the other side of this frame and then you can pop that up. So, all right, now we can slide this out. I'll just grab the wire on the other side and just slide it outwards. You may need a pry bar. You have to pry underneath this other wiring harness. Just pop this retainer out. And slide that connector out. And just slide this through. And the only thing left, we need to take out that bolt. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up the bolt. Take the bolt out. You can grab the sensor and it slides right out make it easier so we have more slack we're gonna put the connector side in first so slide that up and again you might need a pry bar slide that underneath Slide that through. Now connect the connector. And push down on the lock. That's locked in place. I'm gonna slide this back a little bit. We wanna try to get that retainer back in place. I 
and you're just gonna have to feel around for it. And then just push that down the best you can. Get that in place. Now slide these retainers in place. And run the wiring harness the same way it came out. that down and we'll come around come around the shock and slide the sensor in place and take the bolt get that lined up tighten that down And now I'm going to torque this bolt to 80 inch pounds. That's good. Now take this bracket, slide this in place. We're going to slide the retainer for the wire in place. Lock that down. Goes on there. Take your new nut and bolt, get that started. And then your new top nut and bolt, get that started. Oops, make sure this arm goes down in the right position before the bolt slides all the way in. So push this down, push this in, and push that bolt in at the same time. Now we can tighten both of those nuts and bolts. The top bolt, you're gonna to torque to 110 foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. The bottom bolt, we're gonna to torque to 66 foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. Put the wheel on and lug nuts. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 111 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.